picture of the sign we're talking about. They believe they can erect this sign here and that somehow means individuals with a disability are disallowed from parking in the disabled parking spot, which state of law allows me to utilize. See if we can get that public record request. Perhaps they didn't hear me. Let me try the cane. Here, Officer Dixon. Dixon. Hey, how are you, sir? I just wanted to um, request some information from you. Sure. Here was. Uh, Officer Texter, sure. he um, recorded some video footage of me on Saturday morning uh, when I was here on a cellular device. I don't know if it was personal or um, his department issued phone, but I'd like sure. a copy of that video, please. Uh -huh. um, I would also like to get any information, I, the, unless perhaps you could provide it, um, these signs that have been put up. It says Volusia County personnel sure. only. That is... Uh, disabled parking is exempt, is that correct? Disabled parking is exempt. Are you asking if disabled parking is exempt from being in here? Well, meaning that it, me, as an individual with a disability with a disabled parking placard, I'm allowed to park here and the Volusia County personnel sign doesn't pertain yeah. to parking here, correct? Okay, did they put up a sign on the other side of that stop sign? They put up a sign, yes. What does it say? Volusia County personnel only. So right now, I would probably just follow what that sign says. And okay. No, the, 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 go ahead. I'll, I'll just go ahead. And treat this handicap spot as a handicap spot for employees of Volusia County. That's how I would treat it. I can call and ask about that, but I think your handicap placard you know, belongs in a handicap spot out there. Okay. I think that's probably what that sign means. Are you familiar with the Volusia.org beach information for the disabled, where it talks about beach wheelchairs, parking on the east side of the traffic lanes and such? Yeah. Were you aware about this section down here, where it actually says that disabled beach patrons are allowed to use any of these stations except for Ormond right. Beach? So this one's not exempted, so unfortunately I don't think that information's correct. What? Why don't you hang out right here? I am going to let you know that if you want a copy of that cell phone footage, to go to 515. I can't, I can't get that for you. Okay, um, actually your directive 7 says okay. that you guys have to follow right all the here. laws. I'm gonna call and my sergeant and ask about the, the beach thing. Could you actually call Captain Miller? Is he around? No, I'm gonna call my sergeant just hang out right here. And okay. Right back to you, okay? All right. Thank you very much. Yeah, man. Uh, oh, could I just have your uh, ID number just so I have that too, please? Oh, uh, so just hang out here for one So second. you won't give me your ID number? Oh, okay. So he won't give his ID number, folks, as you heard there. So we'll go ahead and stick around. Yes, sir. Yeah, so you're good to park here for right now. Okay. What was what was the other question that you had about the? the well, the, well, I wanted to. Well, I was just mentioning that the uh, right. for, for as far as the beach records and all that kind of stuff go, and it talks about how you know. Directive 7 talks about following the law, and the law talks about who has the duty to acknowledge requests promptly, who is the custodian of the records, and it talks about it is the policy of the state, county, municipal records are open, blah, blah, blah. The courts have concluded that the statutory reference to the records custodian does not 
alter the duty of disclosure imposed by the Florida statute upon every person who has custody of a public record. And then it also goes on to say that we are supposed to request that record at the place where the records are normally kept. And since that record was taken here and that officer is stationed out of here, it wouldn't make any sense to go up there. Coupled with the fact that I'm an individual with a disability, that provides a hardship. So I'm asking you verbally, as I'm allowed to do per the Government in the Sunshine Manual, uh, to please take my public record request, pass that on to whomever you'd like. If you'd like to call Heather or whomever and ask that that be gotten, and then she can call you and request it from you, and you can send it back. It seems like extra steps, but whatever works. Um, but I'm just requesting that from you. I'd like a copy of that video, please. And then I would also like to have um, any information as it pertains to how those signs got there, who requested them, who, uh, from whom they were requested, uh, if it went through county legal to find out if this was allowed. Yes, sir. What's that? No, not yet. Yeah, man. So basically, I'm just looking for any communications, documentation, records whatsoever, written, verbal, or otherwise, that pertain to the installation of the personnel-only signs because it is introducing confusion and perhaps some sort of discrimination against individuals with a disability, which is very near and dear to my heart, as proven by the uh, issues that have been happening with uh, Officer St. John. So um, that's basically it. Uh, two requests, copy of that video, and any and all information relating to how those signs got where they are. Please. Yeah. So Okay, so you're denying my public records request, is that correct, I'm Officer Dixon? not denying anything. So you'll get that for me and I can go ahead I'm and... I'm not getting it for you, but if you want something records-wise, you need to go to 515 because they're the ones that handle that, and I don't handle that. Okay, so you're unfamiliar with the government and the Sunshine yeah, Manual, is that correct? Can I help you out with anything else? Yes, your ID number, please. Okay, 1036. Thank is you for doing that. Mm, so just 100% for the record, I want to make sure you're saying that you are not taking my public records request for a copy of that video and information on these signs. Yes or no? I'm telling you, if you want a copy of any record, you need to go to 515. If you have any other questions. Okay. Have a nice day, Tom. It was nice meeting you. You too. Take care. So it looks like they've removed the sign. From the stop sign here. However, They've instead installed the sign here. And if you can look further, they've installed a gate down there as well. So this is how they now plan to block this off. So it looks like Volusia County personnel only be on that point. However, there is no sign here that says Volusia County personnel only. So let's come in here and knock on the door. Hey, how you guys doing? I'm looking for Captain Miller. Hey, Officer Spears? Good, yes sir. Hey, you're the man. You're the one who actually does stuff right, so I can ask you. I am uh, responding to uh, information that Captain Miller had sent me. Okay. So I have a letter here for him okay. that I would like to drop off. Yes, sir. Do you know when he will be working next? 
Um, he is working today. Okay. He has the whole uh, district, um, all of Lucian County right now. He's the watch commander for everyone okay. on this ship. So um, he is up in Daytona, I think in the beach headquarters area right now. Uh, if you'd like to drop that off. I'll I actually I actually trust leaving it with you, so yes, I will drop that off. Yes, sir. Um, and I will hand that over to my sergeant, um, who will then who is uh, pass sergeant? it up. Uh, it's uh, Weinstein. I want to make sure it actually gets to him. Do, would you like to speak with him? Yeah, if you okay. don't mind. Yeah, no, Thank no you problem. so much. I appreciate you, Officer Spears. You're the best. Yes, sir. I actually do mean that. <laughs> You're good, man. Hey, how are you, sir? Pretty good. Um, I am responding, dropping off some paperwork uh, to Captain Miller, um, and I would like to leave that with you to give to him. Okay. If you don't mind. Um, it's in response to a complaint that was filed, as you can see there, mm -hmm. and it basically just states why I don't believe that the uh, information he gave in his response uh, was satisfactory, and I'm respectfully asking that he have a look at it once more okay. uh, with the perspective of the information I'm listing on there and see if perhaps we can come to some other sort of resolution other than I believe it was unfounded was the word he used for the complaint. All right, I'll pass this along too. All right, thank you so very much. I appreciate your help. You're Have a great day. You too. Well, guys, I haven't even left, and they've gone ahead and shut the garage door on me that they so oftentimes like to do. So you saw when we were in there, this door leads into the garage. So I'm not certain how someone is going to be able to drop paperwork off or request service when this is blocked off. The garage is shut, so yeah, I'm not certain how that will work. More to come. All right, so we are here at Station 4, New Smyrna Beach. And if I'm not mistaken, what I just saw... that they've now fenced off this section here. If you remember from the pre-dawn audit video, I explained to Deputy Chief Aaron Jenkins, if they wish to keep people out, they could simply put up a gate. There's a gate on the steps that lead up to the lifeguard tower right there. So for example, all they would have to do is put up a gate where they don't want people to go. Correct. No like the gate that they've put up here. So, he took my advice, and they put up a gate. Not only here, but also, as you saw, when I came to deliver my response to Captain Miller. So they have... For all intents and purposes, blocked off any and all public access to this publicly funded building, all because of uh, yours truly and his camera. But I guess it solves the mystery as to uh, whether or not disabled individuals or individuals with a disability, it doesn't matter to me personally, are allowed to park at any lifeguard towers, lifeguard stations, whatever you want to call it, station, tower. Bring you guys updates as I find out more. Until then, let's see what's going on at the beach.
never more than one generation away from extinction. We didn't pass it on to our children in the bloodstream. The only way they can inherit the freedom we have known is if we fight for it, protect it, defend it, and then hand it to them with the well-taught lessons of how they in their lifetime must do the same. And if you and I don't do this, then you and I may well spend our sunset years telling our children and our children's children what it once was like in America when men were free. Thank you.